Reality is that the UK is nervous about its exposure. It's taken three cargoes already from Russia this year. We've got a political problem with Russia. Does it want to take more cargoes? I don't know, but may maybe there is a resistance to it, and you could potentially feel that elsewhere. Um, I wouldn't say I felt it elsewhere. I would say that maybe that may be an out outcome of this political impasse right today. But the world needs natural gas. Sure. I mean, and, and, and the point is, is that we're trying to bring a commodity to the marketplace where it's needed. And so if you remove the political element of it, it's just natural gas. So I, th I, think, th I think it's a mistake if we start going down that track about identifying where molecules are coming from and, and, and identify good versus bad gas. And so I, I don't think we'll have any I, trouble not... continuing our trade. I don't think anyone has an issue with where the molecules are coming from. The problem is where the money for those molecules is then going. Uh, that's what the point of sanctions, right? Do you have any concern about uh, the sanctions? H how have you been dealing with sanctions previously, and, and, and how would you deal with them going forward? Well, I mean, if we look at the question of sanctions, you know, we've always raised the issue of why is Novatech on the sanction list in the first place? We're not a state-owned enterprise. We had no business in Ukraine. We were not even an exporter of natural gas at the time when the sanctions were issued in July 2014. So we really never understood why we were sanctioned in the first place. And, and so when we look at that question in, of, of sanctions, uh, you know, we had to refocus our efforts on how we raise the financing to accomplish our Yamal LNG project. But I, I don't believe sanctions, you know, as Novatech receiving cash for our project, you know, has any to do with the, with the political element that you're talking about, or at least trying to infer by, by the sanctions and cash going back to Russia. We're a private company. We're not a state-owned enterprise.